In this video, I'm going to show you how to compose your own MIDI loops and add them to your loop composition. Let's check it out. So here I have a brief loop composition. You get the idea. Now what we want to do is compose our own MIDI loops to go on top of that. So the first thing we have to, to determine is the musical key. Uh, using my T on my typing keyboard, I zoomed in because the keyboard focus button is enabled. And I see that the hip hop synth bass is in A major and the dancing pulsing, dance pulsing synth is in A minor. That could normally be a problem. A major and A minor don't usually go well together. But if you actually listen to these two together, um, it doesn't seem to clash based on the actual notes of the loop. Um, and really, there's not a strong feeling of A major. It really feels and sounds like A minor. Sometimes these loops are not named accurately. Um, so we're going to be in A minor. And you might think to yourself, well, what notes are in A minor? Like, you kind of need to know that, right? This is not really a music theory course, but um, you'll learn how to use some musical knowledge. So if you don't know the notes of A minor, you could just do a quick Google search and it tells you. I literally Googled notes in A minor. A minor is a minor scale based on A with the pitches A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. It has no flats and no sharps. So we're just using the white keys of the keyboard. Easy. Uh, all right, and let's just practice. I'm just going to loop a section and like kind of play around over it. I'm going to select with my grabber, shift and click, and it will select both clips. Right click on the play arrow and choose loop. And then I'm just going to let it play. Uh, I already have Mini Grand, the piano plugin, set up on an instrument track, and it is record armed. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to call this track piano. And I did that by double clicking on the track header. And I'm just going to play and practice. Maybe a different octave. Okay, I think I'm ready to like do something. So now I'm going to undo my selection. I'm going to go from the top and I'm going to hit record and play and I'm going to go ahead and get the metronome. Now you don't really need the metronome if you have loops going. I just kind of like to have it. And I'm just going to record a little something. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just going to kind of let it vibe for a second here. This seems like where the melody should come in. There, I made like a four bar loop. Uh, I need to do some adjusting for it, so I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to just play it and listen for any mistakes. This is a mistake.
right there. That's a mistake. I could even take this uh, and I could delete this and just duplicate this. I'm just drawing over there. Command D. That's what I was really going for. Maybe adjust the velocity of that one note so it doesn't stick out. Maybe I want to do something with the different with the last note. Note. We'll see how it sounds. I kind of like that. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to trim this down so it's just exactly four bars. Make sure. Ah, so here's a problem. My MIDI note got cut off. And the reason that happened is because when I trimmed, it trimmed the very edge of this note. And so that's bad. We want to trim that in. If you accidentally trim the beginning of a MIDI note, it will just straight out delete the whole note. It's kind of weird, but that's the way it is. Now I have a loop, and I can use this loop you know, anywhere I want to. I can duplicate it, and let's listen to how it flows through. If I go into the plugin, I can check and see maybe there's some effects. Look at this, there's some kind of reverb setting here. Maybe I'll change this to ambient and you know really crank up that mix. Let's see how that changed the sound. We could even change piano models. So I kind of like that loop and it rings forever. Um, all right, I'm actually gonna bring in a couple of other MIDI parts that I've pre-composed here. Uh, this is a pad, so let's check this out. It's just one long note that kind of goes, you know, for about 10 bars it looks like. Um, and what that note is triggering is this preset right here on expand if I play the play a note you can hear there's some movement in it so now when I play it in the track and that just adds some extra movement let's hear how that sounds in context And that gives a lot more spice to it. And if, you know, if it's too much, we can always bring it down with these faders. Um, and then this track right here is an instance of boom. And it again, it's one long note right there. It's about four bars long. But that one MIDI note is triggering this pattern to play for four bars. And it's a little breakup because we have these hip hop drums here and here, and then like partway through they drop out and a new drum sound comes in. So uh, let's just listen to the whole thing. And this is how you want to do it. You want to create instrument tracks, load them up with instruments, find the key of the loops you've been working with, and then just kind of practice. Um, and let's, we're gonna listen to this and I'll show you one more thing. I decided to take the piano out there. You can do that.
and the reverb tail kind of trails off. It's a nice little ending. So uh, one thing you may wonder is, what if you want to add notes to a MIDI loop? What if I want to, for instance, in this one, you know, I want to add notes. So you could do that. You can just click in and maybe you want to add uh, another note up top. Ah, there. And it's not letting me. There we go. That was strange. Challenges. Uh, let me change my grid size here to eighth notes or even sixteenth notes, I think would be better. So you could add notes that way, okay? Or uh, you could play them in. Now, if you want to play MIDI notes in, if you start to record, you'll notice that the original notes disappear, and that's a problem. Oh, let's enable that track. And there we go. They, they disappeared. Now, what can you do with that? Nothing. So uh, up here in your MIDI controls, I'm going to enable MIDI merge and highlight that and try that again with my metronome click on this time. And I'm just going to play and then I'll play over top of it. And you'll see instead of these notes disappearing, other notes will just kind of layer onto them. And so there you go. I made a little harmony part, you know, up a third. And I did it with the help of MIDI Merge.